It was a scary moment for several men mowing a vacant lot this morning. The men say thousands of hornets swarmed and stung them a number of times. Six News reporter Callie Desimone explains no one was seriously injured, but the men say they've learned to be a little more cautious when surveying the land. The wolves are sneaking up right there. It was the start of what they thought would be just another Friday morning at work for these contract workers with the city of Beaumont. But within minutes... The bees came out of, out of nowhere, really. Jimmy Simeon and four others with SEMA Utilities were putting their tractor in gear, preparing to mow the grass at this vacant lot on Texas Avenue near Delaware. They was on us, quick, fast, in a hurry. Hornets, angry hornets, disturbed by the workers. The hornets was in the thousands. It wasn't no couple of hundred. It, it was in the thousands. They left their nest on the ground and made a beeline for the workers, who tried to escape the stinging insects. They couldn't. Welts quickly appeared all over the men's bodies. Another co-worker called 911 and Beaumont EMS treated three of the men. Pretty much when we have control, we look out for them before we get on the line. Ann Morris works for the company. She says the workers survey the area they mow before they get started. But the high grass made it harder to see the hornet's nest. Stuck in that dead end where there's one way in and one way out. And unfortunately, we got stuck in. The workers abandoned their tractor in the lot, fleeing the cloud of hornets. It looked like a windstorm, like a whole bunch of sand was blowing. Once the hornets flew away, the workers once again ran into the lot this time armed with insect repellent. They couldn't go home and recover from their stings until they recovered their equipment. Probably ready to go back to work, but that's not going to happen today. An early dismissal for these workers who are starting off their weekend applying cortisone cream. In Beaumont, Callie doesn't own KFDM 6 News. And the man driving the tractor counted more than 100 welts on his body. Ouch, and it was hot out there today.